Hello, everyone. So the plan for today is to keep working on our intake design as yesterday we made a prototype, but now we want to make an actual design that works. So we're prototyping a new intake design and making our old intake design a little lighter. Also, we finished building our chassis and we wanted to make it fast enough to move around the field with ease and also agile enough to move around other robots. So um, we originally made this part to uh, grip onto the uh, samples and specimens, which it fits perfectly in because we're really awesome at everything. But um, we decided that we had to make it um, a little bit longer. That way it wouldn't shift around as much. But we also needed to um, kind of like have it funnel into the piece because right here, if it, it, if it hits on the side, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go in. And so what we did on the computer here is we added this slant. So when it hits on the side, it kind of just like slides in and it, 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 it requires less precision to work with. And we also made it longer because like I said before, it, it, will, it will shift around less when it's longer. Okay, so this is an idea that we got from Team Rev. So basically we have a bunch of wheels that are sideways. Uh, we're going to replace these wheels with compliant wheels. We're going to make this uh, servo run continuously onto a ramp that will pick up the sample as it touches the floor. So essentially what we're designing here is what we're calling the wrist. So let's say this is our intake, this is our prototype from yesterday, and this is our uh, linear slides. We want it to be able to pivot to whatever angle we want. So this will make it so that if we come to the perimeter over here and we drive into it, we can bring it and then bring it all the way down. Oh, it's the wrong one. Bring it all the way down so that it's able to intake more efficiently and then raise it over the perimeter. So with this design, it's going to be a lot more stable and also make intaking and our lives so much easier. Okay. So we tried to be productive today, and since the linear slides aren't in yet, we made these stilts or support beams. Yeah, and um, since there's a height limit, we're going to put the pivot point a little bit lower. Um, and the linear slides are going to go diagonally across to this open area on the chassis. Um, if that doesn't work, we have to improvise, and that's going to be really fun. Cause, the arm's also yeah. going to be kind of heavy because we have, like, our claw, our intake, and a uh, climber on it. So we're probably going to have to, like, support beams on the sides. Yeah. Another solution would be to gear it like we did every other year, but that's not going to be fun. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 